Welcome to our channel. I'm so glad you visited today. If you are new to our channel, I want to give you a big welcome and my name is Teresa. Today's video is going to be all about wood slices. I'm going to show you how we can decorate with them and I'm also going to show you how we can make some cute fall decor using some wood slices. I'm going to use three different sizes today so y'all stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page yet, I'd love for you to go over and join it at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram. Today's video is a collaboration with Arteza. If you aren't familiar with them, they are a one-stop art supply shop. They have all the tools you need to start creating. Their products are nice quality and affordable, and they have a vast variety of products. I will leave links below to their website and also to their YouTube channel so you can get more inspiration and creative ideas. I'm going to show you the product that I chose, and this is like a staple piece to me. It's just like the home decor. It's just like your wardrobe. You need to have those few staple essential pieces that will be timeless, and they will go with everything. These wood slices are kind of like the little black dress in our decor wardrobe. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can make them elegant. You can make them rustic. You can use these for any season or any occasion. And for the fall season, we're all trying to bring nature into our home. So these are the perfect element to put into your vignettes. So I just want to give you some inspiration and ideas. So sit back and listen to the relaxing music and enjoy the video. And I hope you get lots of inspiration. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. And if you are, please hit that like button. It really helps out our channel. We really appreciate it.
I want to share with y'all another really easy and fun project that we can make with these wood slices. You can lay them down in a circle shape and we can make a wreath and or also this can be a candle ring. So you want to do a bottom layer and get it in the shape that you want it and then you go around and you put a slice you know on those spaces and once you get it the way you want it then I just use some Elmer's wood glue and attach my wood pieces together and I let that dry. Now I'm going to go in and attach the messy bows in, the, in, in between the spaces of the wood slices. And I've got a video that I've done on how to make these bows and I will link it in the description box. Now if you want to use this for a hanging wreath, you can also you know, put a, a, a hanger on it with some ribbon. And you can also just, you know, leave the messy bows off and you can just put one big bow on it. You could put it at the top or you could also put it at the bottom. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, we'd love for you to join our YouTube family. So just hit that red subscribe button. I want to show you something else that we can do with this wood slice. I got these napkins at Big Lots and basically you just want to cut the little truck out and then we're going to Mod Podge it onto the little wood slice. And you're going to have, these napkins are like I think two ply, so which means you're going to have two sheets. So once you get your little truck um, cut out, you just want to peel that back off where you're just left with that little thin piece of napkin. So now we want to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to paint it directly onto the wood and then you're going to want to apply the little truck on there and then you're going to want to smooth it out as best you can with your fingers. Now this napkin is very fragile. It's like tissue paper. So you want to work with it and get your wrinkles you know spread out as much as you can but you also want to be careful not to um, you know bleed the, the graphic or you know tear it and then I just go over it a little bit with some Mod Podge on the top. Now you can use this little piece as a coaster or it'd look cute sitting on a tear tray. I also think this would be cute you know for Thanksgiving and fall you know this would be a cute little placeholder you know on a table setting and when I saw these napkins I just I totally thought they'd be so cute you know if we decoupaged them on something so I think they worked out perfect for these little wood slices. I also want to add and show y'all the clear glaze that I use. So if you're going to use these as coasters and you want to waterproof them, I've used this Carlon Clear Glaze. I've used this on a lot of my projects. So you just spray a couple of coats on it and it should waterproof them and seal them.
Now I'm going to show you how to make a cute beaded garland using this wood slice. I ordered these beads from Amazon and I'll link them down in the description box. But basically you want to take some string and I got this at Dollar Tree and a large needle. And I just, you know, put a long strand on my needle and now I'm just going to thread on my beads. And I did 13 for the bottom. Now you're going to want to take the string out of the needle and you're going to want to put both strings in the needle at the same time. And that way it gives you that little loop, that little hanger at the end. And now I'm going to string on six more beads. Once you have all your beads on your garland and you have it the size that you want it, now you're going to want to take your wood slice and just work your needle through that little hole. And then you'll want to run the string through it and then you're just going to want to tie a knot and then you just want to clip it off. Now if you have a Cricut, uh, you could always put some wording on this little wood slice. I'm going to add some bows to it and just kind of give you some ideas. To me, I love the natural wood look so I kind of left it like it was because I just love the polished look. But I'm just going to give you some other inspiration and ideas. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the many things you can do with wood slices, how you can decorate with them, and how you can do some fun projects. And I also want to give a big thank you to Arteza for allowing me to be able to use their products, and I had so much fun with them. I hope you enjoyed the video and please go down to the description box and go out to Arteza and shop their website. I'm going to leave a 10% off coupon code down below. So thanks again for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.